Uh, 24. 24. Mm, 12 A spring or 12 B? Uh, let's see, 12 A spring, yeah. Okay, let me copy the problem. Uh, the, the problem is this, right? The problem that you were yeah. struck on. Okay. It's a semicircle. Gamma has diameter AB of length 14 circle. Omega lies tangent to AB. So let's write first something like this. This AB. It is 14 lies tangent to omega to AB at point P and intersect gamma at point QR. So it would be something like this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. QR is three root three and QPR. QPR is 60. Okay. Then the area, okay, so let's try this problem. Uh, the problem is something like this. This one, um, um, Okay. This one is A B. This one is B. This one is Q R. And Q R is zero three Q P R. Okay. This angle is 60. So let me like this. QR is 3. three. Uh, okay, it's diameter. It says the area of PQR equals this. So we should calculate area of PQR, right? Yeah. Okay, for calculating PQR, what are because we have different formulas for the area of a triangle, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here, first of all, if you know what, then we can solve it. Mm. If we can find the other side lengths. Mm. Or if we can find, for example, QPPR, it would be solved, right? Yeah. Because you say one half sine 60 times this one times this, right? Yeah. There are different ways. Now let's pay attention to some. For example, it is alpha, so this angle is what? Uh, Check with this. It is alpha, okay. right? Um, wait, why? But that, but this one is Tangent to this circle, it is half of this arc. Oh, tangent oh, yeah. Yeah. It is an angle okay. chase. So suppose for example this circle out of out of gamma is what radius of gamma? Mm. Oh seven. It's seven. Now calculate out of omega. It's not hard. Sorry to calculate this one, okay? Okay. Okay. Is the radius uh, three? Okay, do you remember R was what I told you the formula, remember? Mm, uh, a over two sine A. Exactly. So three root three over two times what? Uh, two sine sixty. So just uh, square root three. Yeah. So it would be three, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Now we found circum. So this one is gamma. This one is omega. So we found circum radius of omega, right? Yeah. But still, we've not used that this circle is tangent to this diameter, right? Um. Yes. So if we're going to say O1, we know, for example, both of them lies on this, right? Or perpendicular by sector of QR, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what are the ways to use this one? Mm. What was the question again? Mm. How can we use that? This circle, you said we should use what? Oh, uh, it's tangent. So uh, the center makes her right angle with the tangent. Mm. We know that, for example, one thing is if you draw perpendicular by sector, O2 lies on this, right? Yeah. And also, O2 lies on perpendicular by sector, right? Yes. So if you connect this one, it is O2, right? Yeah. Okay, try a bit on your own. See, so can you use this one and this one? We know two R's, and we know it is tangent, right? Them. Can you find the air yeah. Let okay. me know if you want it. Okay. Uh, can I have a hint? Okay, sure. So, uh, let's calculate the lengths that we can. O2P is what? Mm, three. Let's uh, erase this one. Let's call this one M. Um, o two M is what? Um. Oh, that's uh three halves. So it's thirty sixty nine. It is three, right? Yeah. yeah. This one is two. 60, 120, these are, so this one is 60, this one is 30, so O2M is one half, right? Yeah. O1M is what? O1M. Um, 13 over 2. Thirteen over two, you said. Yeah. yeah. From okay. Let's cap. This is square root of O one Q squared, which is seven squared minus M Q squared. M Q is what? M Q is square root of three over two. I mean, three root square root three over two. Three root three over two, which is twenty-seven over four, right? Yeah. Okay. So four times forty-nine is what? Uh, one nine six minus twenty seven over four. One nine six <coughs> minus twenty seven is what? One six nine over four. So it is thirteen over two, right? Yeah. So o one o two is what? Mm, that would be. Uh. Five. It is O one M minus O two M, right? Yeah. It is five you said? Uh yeah. Okay. It is thirteen over two minus what? Three over two. O two M ah here. 
This was not one over two, three over two, right? Yeah. Three over two, ten over two, which is five. Oh, one P is what? Oh, one P is. Oh, um, that would be four. Yeah, square root of five squared minus three, right? Yeah. Okay, so we found all these links. For example, one way is to calculate QPPR or one way is to calculate HP, means if we draw altitude, because we have this altitude on this edge and found all these links. So if we find this altitude, the problem will be solved, right? Yeah. Want some more hint or that's enough? Uh, that's enough. Okay. One hint? Uh, yes. Okay, so I told you if we calculate pH, the problem will be solved, right? Yeah. Okay, so let me draw this one. It is something like this, right? Yeah. Okay. So it is P, it is O1, it is H, it is N, right? Yeah. It is a trapezoid, right? Uh, yes. When we have trapezoid, it's good to draw what? The height? Exactly. So if we draw this perpendicular from P to O1N, then we know this pH is equal to, for example, this LM, right? Yeah. Okay. And we know O2 is some point here, right? We yeah. know O1M is what? So if we find O1L, then we can find this one and altitude, right? Yeah. So we should calculate O1L, right? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. This O2, let me show a better figure because O2P is perpendicular to the horizontal lines. If I want to find O2, it would be something like this one, and then this one. It would be something like this M, H, and O1, right? Yeah. Okay, so we found all the links. Let's stop me. O1M was what? Remember? Um, oh, mm, 13 over 2. O1, O2 is what? Uh, five. So here we want to find O one L. Look, in O one P is what? O one P is four. Yes, O one P is O two P is three. O one P is four. O one O two is five, right? Yeah. So you know, in this triangle, you know all side lengths, so you can find O one L easily. So try to find O one L. One hint or want to find it on your own? Mm, I can find it on my own. Oh. Okay, I found O1L. It's 16 over 5. Yes, we know O1L times O1O2 is O1P squared, right? Yeah. Okay. O1L times O1O2 is O1P squared. So it is 16. O1O2 is 5. So it's 16 over 5, right? Yeah. Okay, so pH is what? So pH. Oh, uh, 13 over 2 minus 16 over 5. So. 33 over 10. 
It's 65 minus 32, right? Over 10. Yeah. 33 over 10. So 33 over 10, we found the area. So the answer is 33 over 10 times what? Mm. Times. Oh, times 3 squared of 3 over 2. Yeah, so it would be what? Uh, 99 root 3 over 20. Okay, so the answer is what? Uh, D. Exactly. Okay, I'm just gonna complete the answer of this. Yeah. Okay.